Lena Horne, a very special lady who comes in a very special package. I'm a rich, ready, ripe, juicy plum again. Be witched by the and be well done. You once said somewhere you didn't want to be an older woman singing yeah. songs about sex and all yeah. that stuff. And I don't really, if I can avoid it well, now. When you sing Bewitched, Bothered, and Well, but it's funny to me, don't you think so? Didn't you feel sorry for that old broad phone for that old young <laughs> thing? When you say that I'm a rich, juicy, ripe plum again? Yeah, but you can't help your sexual nature, you know. <laughs> if a lady treats other people as she'd like to be treated, then she's allowed to go and roll in the grass if she wants to. Even if she's 64? Even if she's 64, particularly then. <laughs> Lena Horne's path through life has been long and at times tortured. The mass civil rights movement caught up to Lena and let her know that the decades of lonely struggle had not been for naught. But there was a time in the 50s, she calls them the dead years, when she was close to a nervous breakdown and unable to sing anymore. She went back to the South where she had spent so much of her childhood. It was her own version of roots. I was uh, somewhere in Georgia and uh, in a drugstore late at night, and I felt someone staring at me. And I turned around and I saw a woman. And I looked at her and I knew it was she. It was a girl named Thelma. We had both been little girls together in a two-room house with newspaper on the wall in Macon, Georgia, in a, an alley we lived. And that's where the great grandmama, she was 90 some odd years old, did her washing in a big iron pot out in the yard and all the houses had one outside bathroom. And there was a little tiny boy who slept in the trunnel bed with his grandmother and I slept on a cot in one of the rooms. And she and her grandmother slept in the kitchen part. And I said, Thelma? And she said, Lena, and the tears came and I was finding myself. I knew that I existed. You went home. I went home and that helped me get through the dead years. Is it painful? Sometimes. It is at the moment, I guess. I'm sorry. But it has to bring you in the end a lot of joy. Oh, I am happy. You're proud of it, aren't you? Damn right. <laughs> Made me sing. That song that you use in the finale. Believe it's your life. Yes. Yes, it is. Believe in yourself? Yes. Mm. Well, I believe in my real self now, yes. But it took you a while to find that. Yes. Well, <laughs> some people are late bloomers. Oh, <laughs>